Solitude is not the absence of company, but the moment when our soul is free to speak to us and help us decide what to do. Imagine having a secret superpower that unlocks new levels of personal growth and self-discovery. This power doesn't come from the bustling crowd or the noisy city streets. It finds its strength in quiet moments alone. In today's video, we're going to explore how solitude isn't just about being alone. It's about discovering who you truly are when the world quiets down. We'll uncover the unexpected benefits that come with spending time by yourself, from boosting creativity to enhancing your mental health. Whether you're looking to recharge or find inspiration, understanding how to appreciate your own company can be the key to a fuller, more satisfying life. Let's discover how you can turn solitude into a source of strength and joy. Many of us carry a hidden worry, a whisper that being alone means being lonely. Society often paints solitude with the brush of isolation, suggesting that a quiet moment is a moment missed. But what if we reframe the narrative? What if we see these solo stretches not as empty spaces, but as canvases for personal growth? Loneliness is real, but it doesn't have to define your time alone. Stepping away from the crowd can fortify your spirit and foster resilience. When you're by yourself, you're free from the pressures and opinions of others. This freedom is your first step toward transforming fear into a foundation of strength. Think about the last time you had a chance to truly listen to your thoughts without interruption. Solitude offers this rare, uninterrupted space to hear yourself think. It's here, in the quiet, where you can ask yourself, What truly matters to me? Personal goals and desires often get lost in the noise of everyday life. Alone time lets you reconnect with your dreams and ambitions. It's a chance to ask yourself where you're going and plot a course without outside influence steering your direction. One effective way to dive deeper into self-understanding is through journaling. The act of writing down your thoughts and feelings can help clarify them. It's like speaking to a friend who knows you best, because that friend is you. Journaling doesn't just capture your current state. It can also track your growth over time, showing you how far you've come. Another powerful tool in solitude is meditation. This practice helps quiet the mind and brings you into the present moment. It can be as simple as focusing on your breath and observing your thoughts without judgment. Meditation teaches you to find calm and stability within, even when the world outside might feel chaotic. With these practices, Solitude becomes less about being alone and more about being in tune with yourself. Each quiet moment is an opportunity to strengthen your inner voice and reaffirm your values. By flipping the script on solitude, you can start to see these periods not as times of lack, but as valuable moments rich with potential. The fear of missing out shifts to the joy of missing out. Joy in missing the distractions that cloud your self-perception. Through solitude, you begin to build a stronger, more self-aware version of yourself. This version is not shaped by the expectations or approvals of others, but is authentically yours. It's easy to follow the crowd and harder to walk a path alone. Yet, it is on this path that you might discover the richness of your own company. Alone time is not a barrier to fulfillment, but a gateway to deeper self-connection. So, Next time you find yourself alone, remember, this is not just a pause in the hustle of life. It is an opportunity, rich with potential, waiting for you to seize it. Alone time is your time to listen, reflect, and grow. A quiet gift, ready to be unwrapped. In our fast-paced, digitally-driven world, the constant buzz of notifications and news feeds can make us feel like we're in a never-ending race it's easy to forget the power of simply stepping back and turning off. Unplugging from social media and digital devices isn't just about taking a break. It's about reclaiming your mental space and peace. Disconnecting allows your mind to wander and rest, free from the clutter of continuous information and social updates. Think of it as a mental detox, a way to clear out the noise and focus on what's happening in your own life 
not just on your screen. This isn't about missing out. It's about tuning into a deeper part of yourself that only surfaces in quiet. The mental benefits of reducing screen time are substantial. Studies show that less time spent on digital devices, especially before bed, can lead to better sleep quality, less anxiety, and improved mood. When you're not constantly pulled by the demand of pinging notifications, you give yourself the chance to breathe, to think, and to be fully present. Mindfulness, the practice of being fully present in the moment, is greatly enhanced when we disconnect. This can be as simple as feeling the texture of the paper as you read a book, noticing the warmth of a cup of coffee, or hearing the natural sounds around you without the backdrop of digital noise. Now, let's consider the relationship between solitude and creativity. Solitude is often the birthplace of innovation. Without the usual distractions, your mind can stretch in new directions, explore ideas without judgment, and create without interruption. Think about some of the most creatively fulfilling activities. Painting, writing, gardening. These are not only pursuits that can be done alone. They often require the quiet of solitude to truly flourish. When you paint, you engage deeply with color and form. Writing invites you to weave thoughts and words into narratives or insights. Gardening connects you with the rhythms of nature, each plant a silent companion in your creative journey. In solitude, your creative process is yours and yours alone. You are the master of the canvas, the pen, or the soil. Here, you can experiment and explore without the fear of external judgment. Each moment of creation in solitude builds your confidence and hones your skills. Creative work in solitude also allows for deep practice a state where you can improve your skills significantly as you're not interrupted. Whether you're sketching out a new art piece, composing a poem, or tending to your garden, the lack of disruption fosters a unique type of focus that often leads to breakthroughs. Moreover, the act of creating in solitude can be incredibly therapeutic. It allows for a form of self-expression that is both healing and liberating. The products of your creativity are reflections of your inner world, crafted in the quiet moments you spend alone. Solitude, therefore, is not just beneficial. It's essential for those seeking to dive deep into their creative potential. When you step away from the world's noise, you give yourself the freedom to discover ideas and passions that are uniquely yours. So, the next time you find yourself alone with a blank page, a bare canvas, or a garden waiting to be tended, remember that you are in a powerful space. This is your arena of creativity, where your thoughts and hands can build worlds without witness. Here, in this quiet, your true potential shines. Mastering the art of being alone is akin to unlocking a new level of personal power. It's about stepping into a space where you can listen to your voice and make decisions without external influence. This is where true confidence begins, within the quiet moments of self-reflection. Starting to enjoy your own company can be as simple as sitting quietly with your thoughts for a few minutes each day. It's about being comfortable in your presence and acknowledging your thoughts and feelings without judgment. This initial step might feel small, but its impact is profound. It lays the foundation for a robust sense of self. As you get more accustomed to these moments of solitude, try extending the time you spend alone. Perhaps engage in activities that you typically enjoy in the company of others, like watching a favorite movie or eating at a restaurant. This not only reinforces your ability to enjoy these moments, but also strengthens your independence. Each time you choose to spend time by yourself, you're making a statement. You are enough. This realization builds a powerful inner confidence that doesn't rely on others' approval or presence. It's about knowing that you can be your own best company, and that realization is liberating. Independence is not just about doing things alone. It's about the confidence to make choices for yourself. It's about having the courage to trust your own decisions and accept the responsibility that comes with them. As this confidence grows, so does your sense of independence. Now, let's talk about the health benefits of solitude. 
Numerous studies have shown that spending time alone can significantly improve mental health. Solitude provides a break from the sensory overload of crowded, noisy environments, which can help reduce stress and prevent feeling overwhelmed. This stress reduction is crucial for emotional regulation. When you're alone, you have the space to process your emotions at your own pace. Without the immediate need to react to the emotions of others, you can understand and manage your feelings more effectively. Beyond emotional health, solitude can also have a physical impact, particularly when combined with time spent in nature. Research has repeatedly shown that being outdoors alone not only lowers blood pressure and reduces stress, but also improves overall heart health. The act of walking alone in a natural setting can be a meditative practice that clears the mind and rejuvenates the body. The fresh air, the quiet, and the beauty of the natural world contribute to a sense of well-being that is hard to find in busy social settings. Moreover, solitude can lead to better sleep patterns. The calm that comes from a day spent in peaceful solitude can make it easier to fall asleep and improve the quality of sleep. This is especially true if you disconnect from digital devices and allow your natural sleep cycles to take over. Additionally, spending time alone can boost your immune system. Lower stress levels mean less strain on your body, allowing your immune system to function more efficiently. This is not just a temporary benefit. It's a lasting one that can contribute to long-term health. In summary, the path to appreciating solitude may start with small steps, but each step is a building block towards a healthier, more independent you. Whether it's sitting quietly, walking through a park, or spending a day away from digital noise, every moment you spend alone is an investment in your health and well-being. So, challenge yourself to find solitude, not just for the peace it brings to your day, but for the myriad of benefits it brings to your life. Finding the right time to seek solitude can be as intuitive as listening to your own body and mind. Life throws countless demands our way. Deadlines, meetings, social gatherings. And amidst this whirlwind, it's vital to recognize when it's time to step back and find peace in solitude. One prime moment to turn to solitude is after a particularly busy week. Those times when you've been juggling tasks, attending back-to-back -back meetings, or managing family obligations. As the week winds down, allow yourself the gift of solitude. This isn't just downtime, it's a necessary pause to recharge your mental and emotional batteries. Similarly, if you ever feel overwhelmed, when the noise around you muffles your thoughts, it's a clear signal that solitude is needed. It's in these moments that stepping away from the chaos and finding a quiet space can be the most rejuvenating it's also insightful to consider your emotional responses after social interactions. Do you feel drained or energized? Your emotional reactions are powerful indicators of your need for solitude. If social engagements leave you feeling exhausted rather than uplifted, it might be time to schedule a day for yourself. It's important to balance your social life with periods of solitude. While human connection is essential, Having the space to reflect independently is equally important. This balance isn't fixed. It fluctuates with your personal, professional, and emotional landscapes. Tune into these changes and adjust your need for solitude accordingly. Remember, seeking solitude isn't about isolation. It's about making intentional space for yourself in a busy world. It's about understanding and respecting your limits and giving yourself permission to rest and rejuvenate in your own company. So, as you navigate the ebbs and flows of daily life, keep a keen awareness of your energy reserves. When you start to feel the buzz of too much activity, that's your cue. Find a quiet corner, a serene park, or a peaceful room to unwind. Let solitude be your sanctuary where you can reset and return to the world with renewed vigor and clarity. Spending time alone is not without its challenges. Boredom and loneliness can sometimes creep in, casting a shadow over the benefits of solitude. However, these feelings don't have to be barriers. They can be bridges to deeper self-understanding and resilience. When boredom strikes, 
It's often a signal from our minds that we are not engaging deeply with our interests or that we need a change of pace. One effective strategy to counter boredom is to create a list of activities you love but rarely get to do. This list can be your go-to whenever you find yourself unsure of how to spend your alone time. Whether it's reading a book, trying out a new recipe, or simply going for a walk, having a pre-prepared list can transform idle time into an enriching experience. Loneliness, on the other hand, can feel more daunting. It's important to distinguish between being alone and feeling lonely. Being alone is a physical state while feeling lonely is an emotional one that does not necessarily require being alone. To combat loneliness, reach out to others not just in person, but also through written words or phone calls. Sometimes, sharing your feelings in a journal or online community can also remind you that you are not alone in your experiences. Moreover, setting personal goals during your alone time can shift your focus from what you're missing out on to what you're building towards. Whether it's learning a new skill, getting fit, or starting a personal project, goals give you a reason to look forward to your alone time. Another key to developing a positive mindset about solitude is to regularly reflect on the benefits it brings you. Recognize the increased self-awareness, the peace, and the creativity that come from your time alone. Acknowledging these benefits reinforces the value of solitude and gradually changes your perception of spending time by yourself. It's also helpful to seek out resources that can guide you in your journey toward enjoying solitude. Books on personal development, mindfulness meditation apps, or podcasts about self-care can provide guidance and inspiration. Engaging with these resources can equip you with new ideas and tools to enhance your alone time. Remember, the challenges of solitude are part of the process of learning to enjoy your own company. Each time you overcome feelings of boredom or loneliness, you strengthen your ability to thrive in solitude. This growth fosters resilience and a more profound appreciation for the quiet moments life offers. As we wrap up our exploration of solitude, it's clear that being alone is not just a part of life to be endured, but a profoundly enriching experience that can enhance our well-being in countless ways. The quiet of solitude offers a special kind of joy and fulfillment that is hard to find in the hustle and bustle of social interactions. I encourage each of you to experiment with your levels of comfort with being alone. Start small, perhaps with just a few minutes each day, and gradually increase the time as you begin to see the personal benefits. Remember, the goal is not to isolate yourself, but to find a healthy balance where solitude becomes a cherished part of your life. Discover the activities that make you feel content and fulfilled when you're by yourself. Whether it's writing, meditating, hiking, or simply sitting quietly with your thoughts, these moments can become a powerful source of joy and self-discovery. So, take this journey at your own pace, and remember, the goal is to enjoy your own company as much as you enjoy the company of others. And if you found value in this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more insightful content like this. Your support helps us bring more videos that can make a difference in your life.